Welcome to Studio Hero. We're going to take a look at how to make this in Revit. Let's get into it. We're going to start by making this nice wavy form first. Let's go to a floor plan here. So we'll start with floor plan one. And you see that I have a reference plane here drawn. So you can just go up to architecture reference plane. Go ahead and draw yourself a reference plane. And with that reference plane, you then want to just click on the uh, label and I'm naming it waveform front. Then we'll jump back over to a 3D view. And in that 3D view, we can go up to the massing and site tab and say in place mass. Set our work plane. And when we click on that very subtly, uh, we have now an option to pick where we want to draw on. So we're going to choose that waveform front reference plane that we just did. This kind of box only shows really where I drew from left to right that reference plane. Um, and if I undo my clipping plane, you'll see that. But this really is an infinite surface all the way across. So we can just turn our camera to look at that plane flat on, and then we can go and draw anywhere we want. I'm going to use a spline here and think of every turn of the spline needing three points. So if I wanted to keep it straight for a certain point, I'm going to draw here on uh, my first floor. One, two, three clicks keeps it straight. So I'm going to do maybe another click there. And then I'm going to start to rise up. And I got to be thinking about how drastic I want this curve to be. And then kind of where I want it to peak out and start to bend. And then where I want it to go back. Now, I think it would be nice if I made this thing symmetrical, but honestly, I don't really care. So I'm going to go and bring this thing down and then over and then one, two, three, something like that. So now if I go and tip the camera around, you can sort of see it. If I go and select it, we can click on create form and that'll automatically just kind of pop it out to wherever Revit thinks it should go. And then if you want to drag out the front edge a little bit more, we can pick it and then just use the move arrow here to just drag that further out. If I wanted to be really exact, I could have drawn two reference planes, one for the front and one for the end, and draw the profile twice. I could even have it change and loft in from one shape to the other. There's lots of ways you can go about it. But we feel good about that right now, so we'll go and finish that off. Let's go back and look at it in 3D. We go to massing and site now. Wall, floor, roof. One of them will work. I'm going to go and choose roof. I made a basic 20 inch concrete uh, roof here that I'm going to click, create roof, and apply that. So there we go. There's our form there. Let's go and compare this to the image really quick just to see how we're doing. Hmm. I feel like this needs to be a little more drastic, right? A little more up, deleting this out for a second. Back this form, edit in place. Let's see, if we make this up a little bit more, we could do the same here, or we could delete that. But maybe we'll just kind of make it match. Something like that. Finish that. I think I like that a little bit more. Okay. Feeling it. Now let's go back to the image. All right, now we need to make this sort of box-like structure here. So I'm just gonna basically just create a square. So we're gonna go to floor, whatever you wanna use for your floor. Honestly, I'd probably just be using this base as the main floor, but let's just go and draw our own. So maybe 80 by 80, that sounds good. 80 feet, there we go. Let's just go and pick it, 80. And let's pick it, 80, okay, I did that one. And we'll go and move that thing. All right, let's check it off. Let's see where we landed. We're sharing. Um, we'll go and take this and we'll just move it down negative six inches. Okay, so right now this is what we have. We'll go and take this then and we'll do a little copy, a little drop down paste, align to selected levels. Let's just move this all the way to those. So let's go to the roof level just real quick. And if we have underlay on, underlay, we can see 
Let's just see the floor below. Why? We're going to make our roof the same size. So we'll go to a roof sketch. We'll do pick lines. We'll just hover on one, hit tab, tab. Got them all. Uncheck define slope. All right. And I have for my roof, let's just do this. Good. And then let's just say I want to change these to a different material. All right. So we're good so far. Now with this, let's go and edit the second floor. Let's come out with the bridge. So we'll go to our second floor plan and edit the boundary. Take this. Not really sure what we're going to want. Let's go in 3D. Okay, let's look at our image. Comes out pretty much the whole way. So let's go a little bit more. 200. Okay, 200. Let's do that. I think I like that. Continue to edit it. Edit it. And we'll go and draw in just a, well, let's just use the offset command here. And let's go like at least 20 feet. See how that looks. Bam, bam, bam. And then let's take this and mirror it right around here. And then we'll do TR to trim. Oh. Okay. And then let's take a look at 3D. Seems about right. Check it off. Okay. I think I like it so far. Then we'll take this one and delete it. We'll take this one and. Yeah. Much cooler if it's. Um, like this, I think, right? And then of course, right, you'd have to turn that into a roofing element, but I think this will look nicer. And then let's go and take this roof, actually, and we'll, we'll delete it out because some of the shaft wall openings and vertical openings with a form like this, it just cuts too much. So we're gonna, we're gonna end up uh, actually modifying this mass to then have the cutouts through it, and then we'll reapply the, the roof element to that surface. So we'll punch the holes in the surface first. To do that, let's go and create a sketch plane that we can then reference while we're using this mass. So we'll try to do it like we did this one. We'll try and do it just right off over here. Let's go to floor two, a little more information in on, on floor two. And we'll do reference plane. And we'll just kind of grab it right around here, give ourselves a little bit of room. We'll just call that, by clicking in on it, we'll call it uh, bridge all one. And then we'll go over here and we'll call this bridge hold two. Okay. And then from there, let's go back to 3D. We'll pick this, edit in place. We'll try it. We'll try this. We'll set our work plane. Bridge hole one. There it is. We'll pick a view that gets it nice and square on. And in this case, based on the image we were going off of, we just want to really cut through from floor two to floor three. So we'll go and draw a rectangle goes from this edge and it's going to go 20 feet over. And we're going to do one from this corner, go 20 feet over like that. And then we'll hit escape a couple times. We'll pick it. Create form void form. Through. Hopefully that cuts it. And we're going to pick this one, create form. Void form. True. And out here I'm not using the uh the other plan, the other reference plan. That's fine. Uh I just thought maybe in case. Now it says, hey, this isn't gonna cut anything. Use the cut geometry tool. All right, so cancel. So uh, I thought it was cutting because I saw this. And I saw that. I guess this one didn't cut. 
make that make sense. So we're just going to go and do the cut tool with this against this. Okay, now it worked. I mean, you saw it, right? I did it one way, the same way I thought the second time. I don't know what I did different. But anyways, now we have those cut through. So that's great. Now we can go back to the massing and sights, roof by face, concrete on here, create it. And there it is. Sweet. All right. So now that we have that, it uh, looks like line there. Take this and take it off. We Oh, oh, I know why. Edit in place. Now we can go and uh, finish the mass. Now we can go to massing and site. We can apply the concrete to it. Good there. And then now the only thing that's left is like this uh, column pattern all the way through. So if we take a look, we're going to have a handful of them. They're going to lean in one way. We'll mirror them. We'll go the other way. Uh, I think we should do a little bit of planning. So if we go to floor one, we should just go to the grid tool. I think it'll be faster this way if we just take a second to lay this out. Let's try that. So we'll go back. Floor one. We will go back. Structural columns. Back to egg. Whoops. Back to egg grids. Back to picking the grids. And finish. Now. We can take both sets of these and move them up. Floor two to floor three only. And then we can delete this one, this one, this one. We'll pick that. We'll pick that. Copy, paste, align to selected levels. Floor three, because it associates them going down. Ah, oh, why did I have all these here? That's looking good so far. Let's get these going up. Copy, paste, align to selected levels. We're going to do six, five, four, three. Don't need these for the foundation right now. I don't know how. We're not going to model it. We just need one for the roof level now. Forgot to get that. Let's go and copy those. All right, so now we're looking pretty good. Let's uh, save it and cross bracing. So we'll do that, but I'm definitely going to speed up the video for that. So let's go to, so let's do the slanted columns by going to column, structural column, slanted. Uh, we're going to turn off 3D snapping. First floor, floor one. Second click, floor two. Grab it, grab it, and 3D. Cool. Maybe it's not the exact angle that you were expecting. No problem. We can go and pick it, and we can say there's a top offset of negative one foot. Bye. Right? Or maybe we want it to be a little higher. Maybe we want it to just be a negative eight inches. Apply. That seems right. So if we like that, we're happy with it. We've got the one side going on here. We can just go and copy. And since the levels, the levels, they're all the same. My heights between my levels align to select the levels here. So if we like that, we can draw a mirror line. And we can mirror across uh, this column line. I think also might be my mirror line. So I can just pick. So feeling good about that. And then we've got a mirror plane here between the two. Um, let's see what the image is showing. Actually, it's showing this is just cantilevering out. So totally missed that. Uh, so I'm going to eating all of this.
that looks pretty good. Now we just got to take these guys, copy them up. Pick them, touch that base, pick it. Escape. Highlight, touch that base, pick it. We're gonna have to do a filter, but it's fine. Highlight it, filter, unpick the mask, unpick the roof, okay. Touch that base, pick it. Last, but not least, is I think it would be better if we deleted this so people can get through the bridge and on the other side. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. I think we did it. So let's go and turn on hidden line. Let's turn on shadows, graphic display options, smooth it. Silhouettes will go with wide lines. Shadows, we'll do some ambient shadows. And I think we're good. I think we got ourselves a project. Hey, thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. If you want to see our next video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So that way you get a little notification to join us. See you next time on Studio Hero.